Welcome back to Afternoon Express. If you've just joined us, it's all about fashion and beauty in the loft today. Men's fashion is on the rise, with fashion weeks devoted to menswear throughout the world. The platform is gaining traction and international recognition. Q South African Menswear Week, one of the most recognizable African fashion weeks around, where the most innovative designers converge to celebrate art, style, and our distinctly African perspective. Check this out. South African Menswear Week is Africa's only standalone platform dedicated to the development and promotion of menswear. The Spring Summer 2018 event was a brilliant and bold showcase of local creativity. Style and fashion is important because it allows you to be able to, you know, um, express yourself, you know, um, express your, your aesthetic style and be able to stand out in the crowd. I'm excited to be at, at the South African Men's Fashion Week because I feel like the fashion and style is just amazing. I feel like people went all out and I'm just happy to be here. Streetwear has become more like comfortable. It's easy, everyone can wear it, everyone can become one with it. I'm very excited to see um, Tubop and Sol Sol simply because like they speak to the youth more, mainly as like street culture. Like street fashion should, could also be high fashion as well. It's just the way you put it forth. Local brands are the Sol Sol, good, good, good. They actually accentuate that culture that we actually bring out, what, what we actually meant to achieve as young creatives in the, in the street culture, basically. Men's fashion has also evolved to include hair and skin trends to complete the overall look. And this summer, even the guys can rock a healthy glow. Yeah, so for me, for beauty, for spring, summer 18, I'm thinking we're looking at a really beautiful, clean skin, bronze in um, a really beautiful way. So for men, I'm feeling a volleyball on the beach type bronzing where the sun has naturally hit the face. And that's what I'm feeling the trend is for the season. These events are so important for the SA fashion industry because this is the really agile level of the industry. It's here where designers can really build up both their name, their creativity, and really get a chance to showcase that with us as the media and, of course, the rest of the industry and the rest of the country. The designs that hit the runway were a celebration of individuality, showcasing forward-thinking looks that encapsulate Africa's unique mix of influences and cultures. What's so unique about South African Men's Wear Fashion Week? is that it is very well targeted and it's also like set up as a sort of a genre of new fresh menswear and the whole thing is it attracts that tribe. Well I definitely think a crop trousers is on trend so I mean we like to follow um, what's going on in the marketplace trend wise so we can capture that. You need that for the, the, hot, the hotness of South Africa because to me it's like it's not formal but it's also not like totally casual. It suits our market in a sort of higher end fashion. I love pink for spring summer 18. If everybody could play with a little bit of pink it would be great. And I think just being trans-seasonal, not thinking too much about what it is, just wearing beautiful clothes. So in this collection we use a lot of like pearls on you know on the detail of the pockets, on the, the fronts of the jacket, and then obviously Kurt's diamond on the back and we you know just to update the look so it's not just a standard dungaree or standard uh, short, you know, something that's a little bit more detail, that's a little yeah, bit more a bit of luxury, a little exactly, luxury a little bit of taste. luxury detail to the to the garment. Yeah. I'm very glad you asked about the masks. For me, they are key to what this collection represents. They're inspired by a cartoonist named Sol Steinberg. It's really about the dynamics of identity and how people have it stripped and how you can be reduced to a number or a face or, or you know, something that isn't truly who you are. I heard there's all sorts of amazing international journalists that are actually attending this fashion week to see what we're putting out there. Because I think that as South Africans, we're in a very unique place demographically and there's definitely a lot of influence that goes into the fashion. And look, Africa is rising. So all over the world, they are really focused on African design and menswear now because of its structure and the craft that we're putting into menswear as well. It's definitely a stellar turnout. I think for spring, summer 18, a cropped pant for men is huge. Wearing with a sock or without a sock, so a bit of ankle. Um, pink for men, don't be afraid of it. Uh, go bold and be unapologetic about wearing colour. I think the thing with seeing no rules on the runway today is exactly what, a, what South Africa is. Um, there's so much rich history here and so many rich stories that we deserve the platform to tell those stories in whatever context they take shape. Menswear Week isn't just showing fashion to the cool kids. This builds businesses, grows an industry, and shows that South Africa has world-class fashion that's vibrant and dynamic. 
What an amazing hub of creativity. It's so important to support your local fashion and artistic community. When we get back, we're getting an exclusive sneak peek at the spring summer collections from our talented design panel. Live out your front row fantasies right here on Afternoon Express. Stick around. Welcome back to Afternoon Express today as we're discussing all things fashion. Now we're joined by some of the most inspiring designers out that our country has to offer, all who showed at South African Men's Wear Week this past weekend. Welcome to you all. Yeah, lovely yeah. to have you with us. How exciting to have you all here. Super exciting. Absolutely. <laughs> so Casey, okay, so we've had you in the loft before and yeah. we've watched your brand evolve with time. And what does it feel like to showcase on platforms like Men's Wear Week? And how important is it for a designer? It's very important for my brand. Um, I always look back at the fact that um, I studied something different. I'm also taught. So for me yeah. to be on a platform that's like, let's say Menzo Week is the first of its kind in Africa. So yeah. for me to be showcasing my collection and to be seen by the rest of the world is always... So it is a dream, eh? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I cannot believe you are self-taught. It's incredible. Yeah. I've cool. noticed that men are definitely taking more care, or they're definitely more aware of what they're wearing. I was walking through that diamond mile in Sandton City the other day, and literally, just like whiplash, I was just looking, and one, but they were all dressed really well. What yeah. do you think it is that, that I suppose, men are having more of an interest towards fashion? So I feel like men have become more confident in what they're wearing and yeah. like street has become more prevalent and people like men want to, they can see it and they would want, they, they're comfortable wearing it so it's easy for them to like grab onto it and like wear it now rather than opposed to um, like wow avant-garde looks. Yeah. So this is more accessible for them. Yeah, and I also find menswear is becoming, moving more towards couture almost and away from ready to wear. And is it typical of African men that they wear more color? And they're quite vibrant. No, I guess so. It is so. It is true. I mean, African African men haven't, haven't um, in the past, always worn really bespoke suits made out of really amazing fabrics and, and colors. So. Yeah. I do love when a man can pull off a colour. <laughs> Especially yellow. But there is it's so much more vibrancy. Yeah. 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 What inspired yeah. the yellow in, in this range? Um, I've always fallen in love with the colour yellow. If you look back at my collection, there's always a touch of yellow. Mm -hmm. um, and with this uh, collection, um, it's more like your um, travel wear. Okay. So I decided to go on a journey and the yellow just made sense. It's the colour of life. So everything just came up from that and the collection is called Take Me Home. And wow. yellow being life and yeah, it just made sense for the collection. Exceptionally vibrant. What has been the reaction to your range so far? Um, it's been amazing because eh? you always create this thing and it's always um, a very nervous process because you're putting yourself out there and yeah. you never know how people are going to receive it. So it's been all positive. Absolutely. Well, now I want to ask you, some of my favourite like couture designers are men, but what's it like for you designing for a man as a woman? What elements do you have to consider? I generally wear men's clothing. So nice. <laughs> I just love men's clothing. It's just easy and it's it's simpler to design and to create. Like it's just easy for me to do. Con compared to like women's wear, these darts and all these technical things. But men's, <laughs> men's wear is like really simple to do. It's, I guess yeah. a particular type of men's wear as well. Yeah. I mean, do you specialize in street wear? Street wear. Okay. Okay. Is there a difference though, designing for men and women? Different things to consider. There's a lot Absolutely. of different things. Like what? To consider. The construction, firstly, um, certain dresses and things have, the, the physical seam construction is a lot different to menswear, where you have to consider less seams in, in, in blazers and shirts 
to make it fit better. Where in a dress, for instance, mm -hmm. you have to take into consideration the bust area, the hips, and the bum. Yeah. So there are there is a quite a, a wide variety of, of things that you have to take into account. Yeah. Every time you design something. Yeah. And what is the theme of this particular range? So the theme, well, my brand is is very much about the blues, the whites, and the navies, as you can see. Mm -hmm. um, and it's always has a, like a tint of, of a little bit of a French style French, to yeah. it. Um, so you can see I've just used the blues, the whites, the navies, and I always put in a little bit of denim because denim is very accessible. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people can, can relate to wearing denim as well. Well, look, these guys look like they're ready for Saint-Tropez right now. Absolutely. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, do you think there's any truth to, like my perception at least, that it must be so easy to be a guy because it seems so much easier to put together a really good wardrobe? Not at all. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's what that, happened to get that, 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 We haven't stopped talking this whole time. Um, so, um, yeah, yeah, not it's another word out of you. Guy also, um, considering what's available around us um, and how you sort of want to express yourself in the morning when you go out, whether you're going to a meeting, whether you're going to go meet a friend, whether you're going to go somewhere a bit more extravagant. Um, I normally decide in the shower. Um, that's my deciding time. And yeah, it's Yeah, that's a lot it's of important. forethought. I decide when I open my cupboard. <laughs> colours also. Yeah. Like for me, climate definitely dictates like what colours I'm going to put on during the day kind of a thing. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Now, talk, talk us through this. Yeah. Oh, this looks so fun. Yeah. Um, I love check, so I'll, you'll always find something check in the collections that I've done. And then red stood out for me this season, and then I wanted to do a full red look because it's just like fun and bright, and we, we never do red, so I thought let's just do red. And then Tariq. Oh, the um, one that Casey's wearing is sort of the satin coach jacket and the pants also, and the one behind it. That's where we try to bring some more of like the gaming elements behind tube up into it. Um, that's from the Double Dragon collection. Um, a lot of people grew up playing Double Dragon back in the day. So that comes in a matching blue, matching blue satin outfit also. And then the shirt behind, um, it has a lot of, that's actually a collaboration piece with another photographer and cinematographer, Diddle Calhane. Calhain. We overlaid a lot of game scenes and it was fun working with it. Also very really tricky because the files were very really big, but mm. coming together in the end, I think it pulled together quite nicely. Yeah. Because there's a lot of colors inside of it. I always find a designer's choice of model so interesting because it, it, yeah. it points to an atmosphere and a, and a feeling they want to create. Your, your models are quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all fun, so our models basically represent who we are and our brand. Yeah, absolutely. I love absolutely that hair. Love that colour would look awesome on you. Yeah. <laughs> what are some tips that men need to know for this season to stay on trend? Key elements. Short, short shorts above the knee, definitely. Above oh, the short the shorts knee. above yeah, the knee. Yeah, Danilo loves those. Okay. Yeah. Not, not, not mid thigh, just above the knee. Depends definitely. on the guy's legs. True. <laughs> True. And also showing a little ankle is always never a little, bit of never ankle. A little harm in summer uh -huh. okay. for me personally. Right. Any anybody else? I think for me, it's all about playing around with the silhouettes. Like you can do the super short shorts as I presented too, but also mix it up. Like you're not supposed to do a vest anymore. Like we, we passed those age. Men aren't supposed to wear vests anymore. No, you can yeah. get like you see the the, the the shirt that they presented. Yeah. Something more loose fitted. It makes it feel more current. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Ah. All right. Thank so you. no more vests. No more vests. <laughs> so you know, if, if a guy wears a vest, vest, it's a no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about colours? What are the colours to to look out for in men's fashion? But for me, it depends on on also your personal style. Yeah. Navy, navy and white for me is always a, a go-to colour. Yeah. And we were asking at the beginning of the show on our social media feed, like what are men's fashions that we don't ever want to see in again? And I said the skinny jean that's too tight, that looks like what for you guys must not make I a just, return. I just can't for men in bow bottoms. I just can't. <laughs> oh look, bow Ashton buttons. Kutcher pulled them off at one stage in his life, but that's Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> yeah, it also depends who you are, because even with the skinny jeans, like mm. uh, you see a lot of guys pulling off the super skinny jeans which I'll never do. But I think for me, what doesn't work mostly is the oversized silhouettes when it comes to pants. Like, um, there's a lot of guys. Baggy, yeah, the body type baggy, doesn't baggy. really work for a lot yeah. of guys. Yeah. Hip-hop vibes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want to go there again. <laughs> <laughs> now, I hope everyone at home was taking note. These are the designs and designers setting the trends in South African fashion. Your next dose of South African menswear week hitting you in February next year, and the countdown is on. And coming up after the break, we bring you some important beauty advice to treat aging hands, so don't go away.